Located in the British properties of West Vancouver, Canada, we take you to this modern Chevalier designed home. Listed by Eric Christensen with Bellevue Realty Group, this property features four bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and over 6,000 square feet of living space. We begin this tour up the steps and through the large wooden door. Now we have a treat for you today. We're here in the front foyer of this reversed floor plan home that's super bright, open and airy. Starting out down below, there's the white hardwood oak flooring throughout the entire main level of this home. And of course, there's tons of natural light coming in because there's windows all throughout this main level, especially in the next room, which is the living space. Let's head there now. This living room is perfectly placed in the upper level of the home. You have these large ceilings that lead to these tall windows spanning across the entire back wall that really accentuates these views into downtown Vancouver and you're able to see the ocean. And I also love the black around those windows helps pop off all the white. It really does because it's so bright in here and it's good to have those dark colors counteract that just like this whole back wall. I mean, check out this large rectangular fireplace that really pops off this brick. Imagine turning that on, getting nice and warm and hanging out here where you're gonna be watching your favorite episodes of none other than Property Grams. Another thing that pops off is the fact they have windows on both sides, making this wall just seem like it's floating. I agree. And there's even more windows if we continue on this way into the dining space. Like I said, this dining room also has these tall windows and it even leads into these corners. So while you're eating here at this big white table, you're gonna be able to have that natural light coming in. And if it's a little dark, you're able to turn on this chandelier. I mean, check out the design on this. It's got many different lighting panels just shooting out from it. It's great that the brick carries on into here as well. Right? And this is where you're able to store some of your favorite art decor, maybe put a few drinks and some bottles there, but you also have the dark stone here that's really nice, kind of counteracts with this white table. Leaving the dining area, we're now gonna head over here and check out the gourmet kitchen. <laughs> You'll be getting all the feels in this kitchen with all the texture that's seen on the design. Starting with these cabinets on the back here, you have the wood grain that not only looks really good, has a nice texture to it. And that extends all the way into the butler's pantry, where you'll also have the black subway tiling and the black countertops that really pops off all that wood grain. You feel this grain down here? Right, that also comes into this large island here. And not only do you have the wood grain, but on this side, it cuts right into this dark stone. And I really like that because this is kind of like a table breakfast nook area, and this can be like your late night prep area. I love that, there's a bit of a shine and flake into this. It really looks nice. And up above, you're seeing some shine come from all these lighting pendants. Like check that out, I really like the dark rods there, and it really illuminates this whole countertop. And over here, you have the matte black farm style sink that pairs nicely with the hood fan up here that serves as a middle piece between all the wood grain. And if you look at the backsplash and this countertop here, it's the exact same as this island. And to counteract all of that even more, on both sides, there's the white cabinetry that has the melee appliances. Leaving the kitchen, we're passing by the wet bar and the hidden fridge, which leads us down this hall where we have the powder room and the office, which has its own entrance to the front. Now, if you thought the rest of this home had a ton of windows and spectacular views, just wait until you check out this primary room. It is hard to keep my eyes open. And it's not because I didn't sleep well, it's because of all the light coming in through these windows. It's not just these large glass windows that also slide open from this front view, but it's also these side ones. The left one, you're able to stare out and see those stunning mountain views, but there's actually a gondola. And on the right side, you're able to look into the yard, we have the pool. 
Inside this room, you have a ton of space to fit your king size bed and have two big nightstands on both sides. There's some really cool lamp fixtures on the bottom there. They got a cool design. Do you see the fixture up above? Right, this looks like it's like a flower blooming. And there's not even like actual lights almost. It's like the petals just somehow illuminate. As we continue on down this hall, to my right, we have the big walk-in closet that has the built-in cabinetry. And that goes and extends on both sides. And further down, off to my left, we have the ensuite. Now this ensuite has got it all. We first need to talk about these views. Don't think that the designer was just gonna, you know, put windows all throughout this main level and not put them in the primary ensuite. So while you're soaking in this big standalone tub, you'll also be able to soak in those views. Just off the tub and on this gray tiling wall, we have the large mirror with these candle-like lighting pendants. And just off of that, to my left, is the glass enclosed shower. I also love the geometric shape in there on the tile. Yeah, it's really nice. And I like how they have that in the gray and then they have the black shower heads to counteract that. Heading out the primary room, we're now gonna head towards the front foyer through this light-filled hallway, stemming from this entire wall being windows, allowing for all that natural light to come in. And over here on the other side is a well-designed railing that helps with the openness of this area. But now let's head down these stairs and check out the secondary bedrooms. At the bottom of the stairs, we're now in the first of two lower levels at this home. As we head this way and to my right, we have a full bedroom with its own ensuite. And to the left, we're gonna head into the large mud room that also doubles as a laundry room. And you'll see how big this countertop is here. So when you're doing your laundry, folding the clothes, you even have that wood grain cupboard so you can store all your goods. And over here, you have an area to hang all your bags, your hats, your jackets, your shoes, because there's an entrance that leads to the front. On this side, there's a bunch of space for extra storage and of course the washer and dryer. And behind me is the door that leads into the double car garage. Leaving this side of the house, we're now in the entertainment area where you can throw some couches, put a TV on that wall and be watching your favorite shows and movies. And there's also that sliding glass door that heads to the back patio and takes you to the pool. And as we continue on this way, we have two rooms that have the ensuite. Across from the secondary bedrooms, we have the conveniently located bathroom. So when your guests are done swimming in the back, they can come in through the entertainment area and shower off and get all changed. And I mean, check out the design in here. You have that gray tiling that we've seen in the upper level, and you have this floor to ceiling mirror with a cool black ledge. And I mean, check out this standalone sink. How cool is that? That sink's awesome. And it leads down to this amazing tile with that design on it. I really like the design of this tiling that goes all the way into the shower as well. And not to mention, that's a steam shower. Leaving the bathroom, we're gonna head down yet another set of stairs because yes, there's one more lower level. Let's go check it out. At the bottom of these stairs, we're now in the lower, lower level. And this is the main entertainment area. This is almost like an entertainment bunker. You have enough space right in the middle to have a large table. So you can play some poker or cards or whatever you wanna do. And of course, you can be mixing some drinks at this lengthy bar. You have the geometrical black backsplash here. You have the wood grain shelving that extends all the way along there with the illuminated lighting to shine down on your favorite bottles. I almost want to mix a drink right now. Like this is a nice bar. It's also great that there's two fridges, right? You're going to be able to keep all your bottles chilled. And what you then do is grab those chilled bottles and walk on over here into this next space. Here we have the expansive entertainment area. Check out how much space there is, even with this large L-shaped couch. And just imagine having all your family and friends, having that chilled bottle sitting around here, putting on your favorite movie or watching the sports on the big projector. I love the fact that there's still natural light down here as well. Isn't that crazy? There's still this big window with all this light coming in. It certainly doesn't feel like we're this low. Well, it's a good thing that there's no more bunkers or other floors to go down. Well, there kind of is. There actually is a few steps around this corner where we're gonna go even lower, but we got something else to show you guys. Down just these few steps, we're in even a lower area. And to my left, you have the full bathroom, which is conveniently located just off this full-size gym. That whole wall is mirrors. So you can make sure you got that good form while working out. 
and there's a big window allowing for all that light coming in. And it, even in there, it certainly doesn't feel like we're this low. Now that we're done with the lower levels, we're gonna head through the upper level, past the kitchen, and check out the outdoor space. The sun is shining today. Now just imagine being out on this patio in the summertime like now with the sun shining, opening up the Napoleon barbecue and getting your cook on. And then bringing that food over here, enjoying it with your family and friends. Now you don't gotta worry if it's a little chilly or if it starts raining, because if you look above, half of this patio is covered. You have the wood-lined ceiling with the surround sound system, and down below, you have the big fireplace that you can turn on to get all nice and toasty. Now this is great and all, but I, I know what you wanna do. Oh, you know exactly what I wanna do. I wanna head down these stairs and show you guys this huge rectangular pool and hot tub. Just behind that here, we have this large hangout space where you can have a patio set, do some entertaining, or lay some sun chairs out and get your tan on. Well, we gotta talk about this pool. Oh, we gotta talk about this pool. It's so hard not to wanna jump in there and start swimming laps because it is lengthy. And after swimming those laps, I know I sure would love to hop into that hot tub and really soak it up. It's great to have that patio over there, but Look to the left of us. <laughs> right down this set of stairs, there's yet another large patio section, and it's followed by this green space with some real grass so you can play some sports or hang out. Oh, I hate to say it, but I do think that's the end of this one. I think that's the end of this tour. We hope you all enjoyed this tour as much as we did. Now we wanna give a big shout out to Eric Christensen with Bellevue Realty Group for allowing us to come in and film their listing. Now, if you want more details on this home, check the description where we'll have links for all of that. My name is Tyler and that's Jaden. We're with Propertygrams. Now make sure you like, subscribe, and comment so you can stay tuned for the latest tours. But enough of that, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.